The next day, Ian attends the imaging facility at the University of Dundee, where he will be treated with focused ultrasound in the MRI department. His head must be clean-shaven in order to provide a distortion-free transmission of the ultrasound waves so that they can be focused deep in the middle of the brain without the need for open surgery or even an incision. A frame is attached to ensure no movement during the procedure, for which Ian is awake the entire time. Um, so this morning we're doing a thalmotomy using um, focus ultrasound. Um, much of this morning has been devoted to preparing uh, the patient and they're just currently having their first set of MRI scans uh, before we go and assess them clinically to establish uh, the severity of their tremor and uh, before we start to treat using the ultrasound system. The Thanks. principle behind this is the ultrasound uh, transducers create heat deep within the brain um, and this creates a lesion so it destroys the cells which are producing the tremor on one side of the body um, and in the process of about three hours uh, we will build up to uh, creating a permanent uh, therapeutic suppression of the tremor for this patient. Now that the planning images have been acquired it's time for Tom to assess just how bad Ian's tremors are prior to treating him with the focused ultrasound. In the control room, the consultant neurosurgeon, Mr. Khan, tells the system where to focus the 1,000 ultrasound waves to a one millimeter point deep in the brain, where the nerves that are causing the tremor are located. The clinical impact is immediate. Where before Ian's arm would shake involuntarily and without control, rendering everyday tasks impossible. He is now able to hold it steady and simulate drinking or eating with ease. The standard test for tremor severity is for patients to copy a spiral template. Pre-treatment, it's impossible, with Ian barely being able to keep his pen on the page. 38 minutes later, at the final post-treatment test, the result is incredible. Ian was even able to autograph the drawing, the first time he has signed his name in 20 years. Thank you.